on Advocate Broadcasting Network. Unprecedented. I bet you will check out the channels and you might not find such a commemoration. On this segment of the show, we're now joined with students from Senior Secondary 1 level in the FCT. I'd like for them to introduce themselves, starting from the young gentleman to my right. Um, my name is Gokek Bailo. I am an SS1 student at Jesus Jordan International School. I am 14 years old. My name is Adelodu A. Tomirada Peace. I am 10 years old. I am just as one a student of Joseph Jordan International School. My name is Dixon Zephan. I am 11 years old. I am just one and a student of Joseph Jordan International School. My name is Shita Alia. I am in JSS2. I am 12 years old. I am also a student of Joseph Jordan International School. Well, welcome to the program. It's nice to have you on the show. It's the pleasure of mine, sir. Thank you so much. Well, well, quite interestingly, our next conversation is a talk show. And whilst the essence of today is on the rights of children, we'd like to find out from our guest in the show on how this rights trickle down to where they are in schools in junior secondary school. And more so, I'd like to start with you. When we talk about child's rights, what is your hope that uh, children have rights to education? Mm. Alia, would you go first? Who is, who is a child? Who is a child in your definition? Thank you very much for that wonderful question. A child is a young human being below the age of puberty or under 18 who is not independent or able to fend for themselves. Thank you. Now, Zephan, having listened to Alia, my question to you is kindly emphasize the slogan for every child every right the slogan for every child every right is a powerful call to action that emphasizes the importance of protecting and promoting the rights of all children the united nations convention of the rights of the child uncrc adopted in 1989 is the most widely ratified human rights treaty in history it sets out a broad range of rights that all children are entitled to right to life survival and development right to freedom of expression and information, and right to protection from abuse, neglect, and exploitation. Furthermore, the slogan for every child, every right, encapsulates the essence of the UNCRC, emphasizing that all children, regardless of their race, gender, religion, or background, are entitled to this right. One of the key implications of this slogan is that it recognizes children as rights holders rather than mere objects of protection or charity. This means that children are allowed to participate in decisions that affect their lives and have their best interests taken into account of all actions concerning them. This city's perspective is crucial as recognizes children as rights holders in their own lives rather than active agents of adult benevolence. Thank you. Well, I'll come to you, please. Can you talk on the right to protection? Thank you very much for that great question. To me, Children have the right to equal protection of their civil rights and should not be treated differently because of their race, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, religion, or color. When children's rights are protected, they have a much better chance of growing up in society. During a war, a lot of children get hurt in big ways. Most times, children have to work in places that are dangerous and unhealthy. They end up not being able to read or write and do not have any skills. Because of this, they become criminals. This right to protect, protect them from the different kinds of abuse they might face in their lives. The right to survival includes access to adequate nutrition, health care, and sanitation. Government must prioritize policies and initiatives that guarantee children's physical well-being, reducing infant mortality rates and malnutrition. Furthermore, the right to protection necessities to guide children from all forms of abuse, exploitation, and violence. Legal frameworks must be in place to address issues like child labor, trafficking, early marriage, and providing a protective shield for vulnerable youngsters. Education is a catalyst for the realization of other rights. It empowers children to break the cycle of poverty, enabling them to live fulfilling in their lives and contribute positively to their society. Governments must invest in accessible quality education to ensure that no child is left behind. In conclusion, recognizing and upholding every child's rights is fundamental to building a just and equitable society. Thank you. Now I'll come to you. Good luck. Can you talk on one of the fundamental rights of a child? Thank you. Um, well, thank you. Thank you for that wonderful question. Um, for me, every for every rights, every child, like for me. Every rights for every child is not just a slogan. 
It's a guiding principle that shapes our actions and policies. As we commemorate National Children's Day, let us reaffirm our commitment to upholding the rights of the child, prioritizing their welfare, and creating a society where they can thrive and realize their dreams. It is only by safeguarding their dreams now that we can create a more safe and equitable future for generations to come. Thank you. Alia, the slogan for the day, it's been said not once, not twice. For every child, every right. What can you say about this slogan? To me, for every child, every right should not just be a slogan, but a guiding principle that will help shape the, shape the actions and policies toward creating a better world for children. By prioritizing ch child's rights, it will enable the families and societies to treat children well. It will also make the children believe in themselves and have a sense of belonging. We must affirm that every child's life must count. Now, and I'll come to you, Zephan. Still on the slogan for today, every child, every right, what else can you tell us? I would like to say that every child should just enjoy every right. Peace? What, what do you also think that society and government should do to help every child achieve their rights? To me, I suggest that the society should create an environment where children can thrive and have a good life, shaping a future characterized by compassion, equality, and opportunity for all. I also believe that every child has a right when being born, like right to life, right to dignity, right to personal liberty, and the right to free aid. Thank you. Finally, good luck. Can you kindly emphasize on the slogan for the day as we look to conclude on our conversation? Um, I would just like to say that um, every child, every right, every child's right needs to be uh, respected and valued. Thank you. Well, thank you, fine gentlemen and ladies, for honoring us with your presence on the show to speak about every child every right today thank you, thank so you very much, much. let's have a chorus happy happy children's day to all your other friends at home watching and in school um, happy, happy children's, children's day. day well more celebrations as it concerns the commemoration of the 2024 children day would have a life coach wendy ologo join us after this